So it's no shame to play, take it past a certain point. But... I didn't sign anything. I just bowled the game. Hey! You're alive! When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never gonna wake up. I checked your Ricky pockets Ricky Ticky Tabby bitch! Maybe. Go. Interested in mind. seeing this game, but all I found was some loose change. So, wanna tell me who you are? Uh, so you're finally awake. Go dead sent. Uh, Jimmy. Crandall. There you go, great name. Well, it's nice to meet you. And I'm sorry to pry. Yeah, I don't know about her hair. Any idea why you were floating down the river? She looks like she's wearing a What's wig. What's the last thing you remember? She's a wig. Uh. I was searching ancient ruins. Years of studying history gave you occasional insights into the ancient world. I was on a covert mission. You have a military-issued firearm, but only ten bullets. You'll have to use them judiciously, since there's no way to get more. Hype trains are my wallet script tonight. Hey, tea gas. Thank you for the hundred biddies. Hype train! Adam88U for the four months, and Mafrandia for the 16. I don't know if I said that. And Empress Black for the 18 months. Thank you very much. Uh, your time on the run from authorities has made you quick on your feet, and you're 25% faster than sprinting. Recent head trauma has increased your pain threshold, making you 50% harder than knock Uh, I'll be. I'll have insights into the ancient world. Oh, you're an archaeologist? Then you'll definitely want to hear this. I don't know if it's exactly what you're looking for, but there are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped, or injured, or worse. I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without Burger him. time! So I'm just kind of... Emotes I'll never here, use hype. Waiting. I need... What I mean is, I was hoping... You wouldn't mind going. I'm a boy. I think you're 48 months of sport. If you can do that, I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Use those hype trains. Please? Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy. I just. <sighs> what do you want to know? Uh, what's your story? Oh, there's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? I know what you mean. My commute's rough. I have to commute from my bedroom to the office. It's, it's a killer, man. I'll tell you again, get making that making that couple second trip from the bedroom to the office is just it really takes it out of me. You're not even gonna tell me your name? Oh, uh, I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. Wow, what are you hiding? I'd really like to know, especially if I'm gonna um. I'd like to know if you're special, I'm going to help you. All right, fine. Sorry if I sounded cagey. It's just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. Ah. <laughs> but all those Karen memes have really ruined that name, huh? Uh, yeah, something like that. But right now... I have bigger problems, like finding Al. Poor Karen. I, was like, I just wanted to have a normal name. Um, who is Al? He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. I thought maybe you two knew each other. I guess not. But maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing here. In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. Um, where are we? You really don't remember? We're in Italy. This river is the Tiber. We're 
in Italy, eh? Okay. Why are we the second guy to wash up in the river? This is where they dump the bodies. If we're in Italy, this is where the, the mob, the mafia mob, they shoot them and dump them in the river. This is where they wash up. <laughs> Skyrim far from Italy. <laughs> this is a hop, skip, and a jump from Skyrim to Italy, you know? What can you tell me about the ruins? Not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Al... Wait, like is in Al the alien? Like... Is like is in Al the alien? What am I? An idiot? I want I want you to find You can hike a long, long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust me. That's all the questions I had. Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? Uh I'm going in for priceless artifacts, but I'll keep an eye out for him. My hero. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. Oh, and he left this here. But I think you'll need it more than I will. Heavy duty battery powered flashlight. I thought they said flashlight there. Hi, Karen. Change how quick we turn because it's very, very f fast. That's a bit better. I don't need to sprint. I'm enjoying my wonder. That might be because I'm using the controller, so you actually might be able to fine do it. But let's let's have a look. See, hang on. Yeah, for some reason, if you use the controller, it makes it really strange. Yeah, if you, if you just use the mouse to change it, you can actually do... Yeah, 71% is the sweet spot. Backpack full of worn hiking clothes and empty food packets. Nothing valuable here, but still, it seems strange that Al left it behind. Oh well. His camo, his camo bag. If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, uh. except in the Latin inscription here. It reads, you who wish to enter the city, Where? step forward. Ah! That was confusing. I tripped and fell into a... Step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For this shall be their final resting place. 
Could an underground city have remained a secret for all this time? Could people have survived down there, against the odds? It seems there's only one way to find out. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation. Or a warning. Al Worth. By Al. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Jim. Uh, Crandall. Archaeologist Extreme. Young Roman woman in a pose of lamentation. They face you. Oh, that's very weird. Am I gonna watch the Anna Purna Interactive Showcase? What the fuck is that? I hadn't planned to, I don't even know what that is. Very non pog. Yeah, that's very cool though. They like. So if you look away. They'll tend to face. Maybe not all of them. Maybe some of them just tend to face. Oh, that's very weird. Roman gladiator mid stride. What could have made a gladiator flee? Um, I mean, I'll probably just see the announcements afterwards, honestly. I don't like them staring at me. It's very weird. Why are you here? A young Roman woman. Looks like she was begging for her life. I just opened the door of my face. Quick save. A Roman legionary in a state of terror. So scared. Yeah, no, um, I don't know, maybe if I am, uh, no, well, no, I probably will be doing something at 8, actually, tomorrow. I, I'll just, we'll, well, I'll check out some stuff afterwards. Plan to do some evening streams when I can, actually, soon, just to play some Final Fantasy 14, so I might have to, I could always check it out when I start that, you know. You gonna watch me now if I turn away? So it's like the ones on the side seem to turn to watch you. It's cool though. A, Rom a Roman woman who appears to be praying for help that never came. <laughs> help me cave.
scribe stone tablet. To whoever reads this, I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, that you'll suffer the same fate I did. I spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. Oh. There is no way back. And here there are only two options. Death. And that godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Oh, uh, oh, uh. <laughs> Better to end it all now. And find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Yeah, the old golden hang. A uh, golden statue of an old man wearing modern clothing. This must be Al, but how is that possible? Is Goldfinger in this? Where is Al? There he is! <laughs> just, just find a picture of, like, Al the alien just hanging. You're like, oh my god, Al! <laughs> oh, I didn't want to do the TV show anymore. I've never seen Al, so I don't know what he sounds like, but I... I, I I've seen many pictures of Al, so I'm just picturing Al the alien hanging. Young Roman woman in a state of panic. Al Pacino. <laughs> ah, look, but don't touch. Touch, but don't taste. Taste, but don't enjoy. Thanks, Al. <laughs> it's got to be Al, though, uh, the devil's advocate here, Al. That's, 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 uh, that's the only Al Pacino I want. Or maybe Al Pacino from uh, that terrible fucking show where uh, was it? What's what's the one where what's the one where um? I'll show the tea, that film where uh, the actor who gives up he plays himself and his sister, and Al Pacino wants to play Twister with his sister. <laughs> I think Al Pacino wants to play Twister with your sister. I love you so much, baby. Al Pacino. A Roman man on his knees as if begging for God's for mercy. Who are you? Jack and Jill, yeah. Roman relief depicting a great circular portal and two women. I wonder who they could be. Morning, Plap. How's it going? Oh. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? I'm Crandall, and I got lost. <laughs> I'm Crandall, and I've just come from the future. Wait, are you speaking English? Shrine of Prospernia. Wait, are you speaking English? Salve, friend. I'm Crandall, and I've just come from the future. Uh, no idea what you're talking about. Oh, wait. Are you a bit, you know, not right in the head yes my name is Crandall. It's all right friend everyone's welcome here uh seriously what's today's date 
We sort of lose track of the date down here, but it feels like the beginning of spring to me, so I'd say early March. What year? It's 817 AUC. Sorry, you look confused. 817 years since the founding of Rome. Which part of the empire are you from exactly? So it's 65 CE. Mind. Uh, we'll use our archaeological insight. Is this, is this before or after Christ? We'll use my archaeological insight. So it's 65 CE. CE? No idea what you're talking about. But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here. But you... you seem very lost. And in more ways than one. So let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. The laws? Not laws. Law. There's just one. The golden rule. And the punishment for breaking it's... Well, it's kind of horrific. But our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him. So I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? But, as you can see, we've got a nice little community now. Ooh, tapping A to follow, that's a handy thing. Only 23 of us at the moment, if you count the three who are missing. No idea how, since nobody knows a way out. But it's just big and dark enough to get lost in, if you're not careful. Aren't you going to introduce me to your handsome new friend, Galerius? Ooh, what Keep it in your loincloth, Aurelia. I'm taking him to see the Magistrate. That pompous old boar won't be magistrate for much longer. Anyone who helps vote him out today drinks at my bar for free tonight. Wait, baby, come back. Uh, politics. I'd uh, stay clear of it and her. I can't I stop would. being She's, taken along. Uh, it's not my place to say. Down on your right is our farm, where I grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you want is leek, cabbage, and wheat. Huh. That one usually gets a chuckle. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Yes. Ah, don't mind Livia. She means well. She's just been in a bad place since... Well, you know, I don't know what happened to her. Up here on your right is the chasm. If you've got a weapon, it belongs way down at the bottom. Up on your left is the forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched Leave up in the precious clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. Boobs? <laughs> Most of us have almost nothing. Just what we had on Leave us your boobs in your loincloth. And what we've been able to Wait, make, make any scrounge up since. Yeah, and this but... central plateau is where the magistrate and the other patricians live. Your, so your don't expect a warm welcome. Oi, there, leave your vagina in your loincloth. Take it easy, Horatius. I was just taking our new friend here to see the magistrate. Well, he's asked me to escort the newcomer personally. The farm. Go. Now. You'd better go with him. But just remember, they're not like you and me. Don't let them use you. What was that? What did you just say? Uh, I said it'll take some getting used to. Yeah, I'm watching you, farm boy. Greetings, citizen. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. What's this about? I expect the Magistrate wants to brief you about the Golden Rule. It shouldn't take too long. He's busy preparing for the election later today. I don't think so. I'm afraid I have to insist. Uh, I'll pass, but I do have some questions for you. Alright. Well, I can't force you. I'll let him know you declined. But he won't be pleased with either of us. Uh, what's your story? I'm a legionary of the first Italica. But there's really not a lot of fighting down here. It's also the night that the endless the shadows came to life. I act as the magistrate's right hand man, keeping an eye on his daughters. Uh, daughter, I should say. And the others. And making sure they're all behaving. I also keep a register of new arrivals. How'd you end up here? I'm from Liguria, up north originally. I was doing all right for myself. Twelve years into my service. Had a nice girl lined up for when it was all over. Not anymore. She's probably figured I'm long gone and moved on by now. I 
Try not to think about it. My commander sent me to deliver a message to Ram. While I was there, I thought I'd do something nice for my girl and pick up a little pendant from a silversmith. That's when the crowd started flooding through the streets, shouting fire. People were screaming, trampling each other. Then some genetic fugitive tried to take advantage of the chaos and pinch my pendant. I remember chasing him through the crowd. Genetricum, genetricum future troll. Yeah. Nothing. Blacked out and woke up near here. No idea how I ended up floating so far down river. But I'm fortunate to be alive, I suppose. Sorry to hear that. Ah, don't be. As Seneca the Younger said, difficulty strengthen the mind as labor does the body. That said, Centella's appearance has been more difficult than I'd care to admit. What can you tell me about the Magistrate? He's one of the better commanders I've ever had, that's for sure. Good stoic. Lives by Seneca's words. Treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Can't ask for much more than that. Yeah, I like that. Do you know a way out of here? I went around asking the same questions when I first arrived. Never did find a way out. But I learned how to accept my situation. To bear trials with a calm mind robs misfortune of its strength and burden. That's from Seneca the Younger, if you're interested. Uh, can I see the citizen register? I don't see why not. Just make sure I get it back by tomorrow. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> Handed it to me like a nightmare. Aurelia, class commander. Commoner, sorry. Du commander. Judy, tavern keeper. Quarters, tavern in slum. Notes, claims to know a way out. Claudia, patrician, wife of Malaeus, Quarters Villa Central. Decius, commoner, merchant general for Quarters Forum. Medicus, commoner, Malaeus' guard. Dubius, commoner, unable to work. Kristen Warehouse. Equita, Pat patrician, vestal priestess. Fabia, commoner, baker. Galerius, commoner, farmer. Georgius, foreigner, merchant clothes. Hannibal, <laughs> foreigner, forage for slum. Died in Sistan. Horatius, commoner, guard. Ka Kabash, foreigner, fisherman. Disappeared. Julia, patrician, debt bondsman to Malaeus. Livia, commoner, hairdresser, now refuses to work. Lucretia, foreigner, nurse. Malias patrician money lending not to be trusted. Some think of the uh, the commoner physician locked herself in the palace. Octavia patrician cleaning gardening. Rufus commoner patrol increasingly agitated. Sentia patrician pupil restricted to her villa for her safety. Centilla patrician pupil missing. Sentius uh, magistrate. Pierce commoner, debt bondsman to Malatius, Virgil, commoner architect. Okay. Looks well, like a reading mode. Oh, that's handy. <laughs> I could have just done that one. What was that name I couldn't read then? Elia. Oh, Elia, did you? Okay. Lucretia. Of course. What do you think of the golden rule? Well, as I always say. It's kind of like a divine version of the practice of decimation in the Legion. By threatening to execute one in ten men, the idea is to ensure order and discipline among everyone. And it works. If you knew you could be executed because your brother-in-arms is planning a mutiny, well, you'd bloody well watch him like hundred-eyed Argus, wouldn't you? Because your only chance of saving yourself is to stop bad things before they happen. Interesting. Makes us all responsible for keeping each other in check. It's brutal, of course, but effective. The Legion wouldn't be the most formidable force in the world without it. Interesting. So you... If someone does something wrong, not let's say them die, they'll just kill someone. So you wouldn't you wouldn't let other people do bad things in case it, you were the one that died because of it. It's an interesting way to 
like a fucking it's just everyone living in perpetual fear of dying. That sounds fun. Collective punishment, which is a war crime. <laughs> It's like the opposite of taking one for the team. <laughs> team take it, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, team, take 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 it take it from take it for the one. Where I am from that because they collect the punishment. War crime. Isn't that a contradiction in terms? As Cicero said, in times of war the law falls silent. Oh, that's messed up, bro. Our world's very different. Seems that way. War crimes. Ridiculous. So you're in favor of it? What's done is done. I was forced to execute my brothers in arms, and those memories will always visit me in my sleep. But life is harsh, and I've come to accept my lot. As with the golden rule, I don't have any control over it. So railing against it would be like trying to stop the seasons or the tides. As Seneca the Younger wrote, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have, which is sufficient. For he that is so wants nothing. Yeah, let's talk about something else. If you like? Who are you going to vote for? There's a vote? Not that it's any of your business. But my loyalty is and always will be with Sentius. Unfortunately. <laughs> so you vote for, bro? I don't think my vote is going to make any difference today. See, Domitius has been going around town, shoring up votes for Maliolus with lies, bribery, and intimidation. The man's a savage. But he's a gladiator, so people fear and respect him more than they should. Sentius knows about it, of course, but he doesn't have the same rat cunning as Maliolus. This place will be different with that sleaze at the helm. But I try not to worry about things I can't change. Can I help? I appreciate the thought. But you're new here. And I just can't see how you could make an impact in the time between now and the election this afternoon. In any case, if you're interested in the election, go and have a chat with Equitia, the Vestal Priestess. She'll be overseeing proceedings. You are how to make millions drop out of the election. Yeah. All right. That's uh, <laughs> the dude doing push ups. What now? Nothing. All right. <laughs> Nothing. So weird. So weird. Oh god, dude! That, that the fact they faced, they turned to face you when you're not looking at them is super duper creepy. Fear is proof of a degenerate mind. Hey, Horatius, how does it feel knowing your man's doomed to lose the election today? If you're trying to goad me into an argument, it won't work. I'm a stoic, remember? If the old man couldn't even keep his own daughter safe. How can anyone trust him to keep us safe, eh? Why do I get the feeling you lot had something to do with Centilla's disappearance? That's it. Blame everyone but yourself. If I find out you did something to that poor sweet girl, not even the Golden Rule is gonna protect you. Got it? Huh. As if I'll be afraid of you, little man. You ripped to shit. Just doing push-ups. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm most impressed by the fact he's doing push-ups with the fucking helmet on. <laughs> Sentius and Melio Me Melios. Some excrement. Di same excrement, different smell. Like that. Maliolus isn't receiving visitors at the moment. It being election day. Uh, what's your story? The name's Demetrius. Demetrius. You want to get to Maliolus? You go through me. Uh, why are you just like a gladiator? Why? Because I am a gladiator. That's why. 
Okay, but you're nowhere near an arena. You want to see me fight? Keep running your mouth, fatuous cunners. <gasps> You just call me it. What did you just call me? <laughs> did you just call me a fat cunt? <laughs> did I just, I just get called a fat cunt? What the hell? When Maliolus wins the election, yeah? This place will change. You won't even want to leave. You'll see. What do you think about the golden rule? I think it's gone on long enough. And Maliolus is gonna put an end to it once he's elected. Sounds great. Can I help? <laughs> We've already lined up the votes he needs to win. Just stay out of our way, and we won't have a problem. I'm just trying to help everyone, you know, you know me. I, mean. I think it's gone on long enough. How's he gonna do that? He's gonna announce it in his victory speech. Just you wait and see. Why can't you tell me now? Because if I tell you, and it gets out, it'll give old man Sentius a chance to interfere in our plans. And we can't have that. Hey, I'm not sure I believe that. Old man Sentius got you already, did he? Well, I'm not talking to people in his faction. Comfort you, are, eh? Excuse me? Boss in Coolio Mio. What? <laughs> He's saying things to me. He's probably saying horrible things to me, possibly, that I, 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 I don't understand. Hey, you're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? Yeah, why? Nobody's told you about Hannibal. Ugh, why do I have to do everything around here? So, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? Funny accent. You should go down into the cisterns looking for junk he could clean up and sell. One day, a few weeks back, he comes out and tells me the cisterns are haunted. Said he could hear spirits wailing. Of course, nobody believed him, because who trusts a Carthaginian, right? Anyway, a few days later, he goes back in. And hours go by, and he hasn't come back out, yeah? So I go down after him, and it's dark. But in the distance, I can just make out his body, sprawled out on the ground. And hunched over him was something that made my blood run cold. No word of a lie. I saw a creature. Like the corpse of a man who'd been flayed. And it was eating Hannibal. Oh, Hannibal got eaten. <laughs> uh, wasn't that broken the golden rule? If it was a man, maybe. But I swear on my life this was no man. More like a Strix. Or some Versipellus that feeds on human flesh. I didn't stick around to see which. The bottom part of his armor is moving and it's freaking me out. Like, of his helmet. What'd you do? What any sane person would have done. I legged it out of there and put a sign at the door to warn the others. Great story, but I'm still going down there. Without a weapon? Well, it's your funeral. What's going on down here? This used to, uh, the original for this was actually a Skyrim mod. Um, that they've turned into a full, uh, it's, its own uh, full-fledged game basically. So that's why it's got very Skyrim-esque kind of ways that they move and talk. <laughs> oh shit! Oh my god! Help me. Uh, uh. Uh. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> that was, nope, <laughs> no. Okay. Right, okay. Oh, that was, that was terrifying. Do not enter the system. Yep. Alright. That was, that was terrifying. Can you talk to me, please? Boss in Coolio Mio. No. I need to talk to you about what I just saw. 
I don't think this is made in the Skyrim engine. But I'm not sure. The, the, this, 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 the, the original was a mod that came out for Skyrim, and then this is made in its own engine, I believe. Uh, like, from fresh. Not using Skyrim resources or anything. Same a couple of years. So it's made by, like, a team of three. A ceramic ink jar that appears to be made from soot and water. sound is. It's the head turning. I was like, why can I hear the sound of like someone sharpening a sword? Steal a coin pouch. I don't think I want to do that. The sculpture of Minerva, the Roman goddess of strategy. I should probably go find out what the golden rule is, because I just didn't go there. I was just, meh, I'm gonna go there. Coin pouch. Hmm. Okay. Hello, Bucket of Nuggets. How's it going? Nice to see ya. You the arts in this? Oh, nice. Is it actually a team of just three of you? Right, is this women? Fresh meat, huh? Yeah, it's quite free. Oh, wow. I know there's like a bunch of voice actors and stuff, obviously. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your She's name? one really good voice act. Can do all of the voice acting for different people with one voice. Uh, I'm Crandall. A curious name to match a curious accent. But I digress. I see you have the piercing and astute eyes of a man of great learning. We're always happy to welcome another scholar to our little community. Equitia will be delighted to meet you, I'm sure. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you. We look like... Uh, we haven't I'll been given a face. But first, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains, maybe hundreds of years ago. I probably shouldn't have turned the music up. <laughs> I turned the music up, and now it's slightly, slightly drowning them out. I might have to turn it down again. Uh, it's beautiful. Indeed. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. Twenty-two complete strangers brought together by the fates, living and working together in our own little paradise. This is the kind of like chiseled, and in all that time, uh, weathered old man that I always try to make in video games. <laughs> no fights. But fail nothing, miserably every time. Nothing. Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as it is, a city? <laughs> this is Kreinstein. This, this is the Crandall's my boy, but the, this boy right here we're facing. That's this is this is a Kreinstein. That's the face of a Kreinstein, that man. 
the original Cryenstein. Uh, wait, something or something trying to say about sin. Uh, I can't say I have. Nor could I until I came here. But the reason for this this miracle is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every oh last everyone one of us dies will die. You see, the builders of this place, whoever they were, left inscriptions oh, warning: the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. From what we can gather, breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment. Like the curses of Medusa and Midas combined, turning us all to gold. Well, that would be why they were all gold. Okay. We've come to call it the Golden Rule. It's extraordinary that we've survived yeah, on the nose. <laughs> have, and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. And now it seems that day is finally here. All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the golden rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please, ask away. Uh, tip, these questions will be available later. What do you mean you, when you said Persephone was sent me? You see, in my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual to Proserpina, the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. It's said to open a doorway in time, so that uh. if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back to the past. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. You don't belong in our time, do you? I'm just kidding. It was all this stuff. Uh, yeah, I do. You're right. I'm from 2,000 years in the future. 2,000 years? That is unfathomable. Please tell me, in your time, what did you see? Well... Burger time! Of us. <laughs> what did I see? <laughs> what did you see? Burger time! I saw burger time, baby. Is this a fantasy world? Um, I don't know. I don't know how uh, historically faithful it is. You've all been turned to golden statues. I'll be honest. I have imagined it. Our downfall a thousand times but it still breaks my heart to hear the truth of it I mean this is based 65 CE I think our character said as historically accurate as you could be oh okay there you go you take you know I think of a lot of things like this. You take, you get historic accuracy, then you take like you know artistic license and be like, eh, we should do that there and this there. Uh, how does the ritual work? All I can tell you is that it's a ritual sacrifice to Proserpina. I stumbled across instructions. I have to recite a prayer, and of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually, that means wine or food, or in some cases, a live animal. In this case, the sacrifice is rather more costly. The life of the person performing the ritual. I don't suppose you saw any sign of me in the future? I actually didn't notice him. I did see human remains in the temple. Ah, On your best behavior, I, I trust. assume that <laughs> was I trust. If oh, I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try to make sure I don't need to use it. Won't you? Do my best. Well, I suppose that's all I can ask for. So what counts as a sin here? An intelligent question. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes or to some other ill-defined wrong? Of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, no and certainly no okay. murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying? 
insulting someone, blasphemy, trespass, trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide. As magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold like, the laws uh, of the what empire. What can I do? You can stand there and not move, before and then you'll be fine. And we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper, as Rome has for centuries. Dude, if pine pi pineapple on pizza is a crime here, I'm dead. I mean, ev everyone's turning to gold instantly. <laughs> like, right, if you eat that pineapple on pizza, everyone's going to turn to gold. I'm just like, I'm having the pineapple on pizza. Worth it. Um, okay, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. What is what is legal isn't always moral, and many of your laws and customs are considered barbaric where I'm from. Barbaric? Barbaric? What are you talking about? The Empire is the most civilizing force in the known world. Rome is a beacon of light in the darkness. For 800 years, she has borne great statesmen, philosophers, poets, artists, and engineers. We have comprehensive laws protecting the rights of our citizens, which have unified countless warring tribes all across the Mediterranean and beyond, from Gallia to Judea. Don't, don't all our blame citizens him. are treated the same, regardless of the color of their skin or their sexual preference. Can you say the same? When our people are starving, no. they are given food <laughs> rations. And when they are wronged, they have the right to bring the guilty party before the magistrate. Our laws forbid treason, murder, assault, and rape, as well as theft and arson, and so on. No other civilization in the world is so advanced, and you have the, the hubris to call us barbaric? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. You rescue Christians, people that watch blood sports for entertainment. I mean, we, 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 we replace blood sports with, like, Love Island, so. <laughs> Sorry. I have made my pronouncement on the subject. I don't need to argue this guy about there that. There are still those here who resist, whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies in the shadows. I would be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. Uh, why can't you investigate? Well, I believe you're in the best position to go around asking people questions. You're new here, and it'll seem perfectly normal. As for me, well, it pains me to say my attempts to impose order have not earned me many friends. I fear I may not even remain magistrate after today's election. The people here would only treat my curiosity with suspicion. You shouldn't have that problem, though, unless, of course, you get off on the wrong foot. Mm. Fair enough. Do any suspects? Do you ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it for what it is? Yes. Anymore. What's needed that, here? That is a goddamn fresh pot pair thing. Of eyes. The goddamn pot puzzle the less from I the independence of your investigation. I no idea what it was better. doing. Uh How do I know you're not the person responsible? Me? Why would you suspect me? I just told you, I'm about to sacrifice pretty my suspicious, own life buddy. to ensure these people have a second chance. What reason could you possibly have to suspect me, of all people? Fair point. I'm glad you think so. Without trust, without each other, we won't be able to prevent what is about yeah, It was awfully, awfully suspicious the way he said. Come on, tell me what you really think. Well, all right. There are those who wish to vote me out of office so that they can pursue their own misguided political agenda. Frankly, their selfishness and recklessness risk destabilizing the entire city. I would be looking very carefully at them if I... So you want me to investigate your political opponents? All right. If I do this, will you help me get back to my own time? If I understand Persephone's ritual correctly, that problem should take care of itself. And let me see if I can explain. If you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the golden rule, I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. 
Okay. Thus, you have created a paradox. If this occurs, you should be flung back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. <laughs> so political corruption is not a crime. All right. I think so. So the questions I have. Ah, good. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break the golden rule? All right. Wonderful. Not much for choice. Now, I need you to investigate the city, talk to everyone, help them if it will win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes, <laughs> oh. and possessions, and documents, unless, of course, you're asked to leave. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. All right. Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Lucretia. Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. Seems like something's not right. Uh, I'll see what I can do.